the bells, sweet silver bells, all sing to say, throw cares away, Christmas is so you guys, today I'm showing you how I steam my hair without a hair steamer. I'm taking a floss stick and just a plastic cap. And we're going to start by poking holes all over the cap. As many holes as I could possibly get. And you guys, while I'm poking holes in this plastic cap, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that red button. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you can see the latest videos on this channel. And also, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Next, you're going to take a bath cloth and you want to use distilled water when you're steaming your hair. Um, you're going to pour it into a microwaveable cup or a bowl or whatever. And you're going to soak that bath cloth in that cup or leave it in there like I did. Put it in the microwave for, um, I would say, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Just, and yes, y'all, I'm dancing. I don't know if you guys do it, but I do it all the time when I'm waiting or something. I dance. And I looks like I just remembered that I haven't put any conditioner in my hair. I'm using Fruity's conditioner, by the way. Um, it's not deep conditioner, but I'm just using it as a deep conditioner today. Right here, I'm going to check the bath cloth to see how hot it is. Um, you want it as warm as possible, but you do not want to burn yourself because the hotter it is, the better. It'll generate more steam, and that's what we're aiming for. And just for more moisture, I'm going to be adding this Jamaican black castor oil on my hair. Um, this will help give your hair more shine and seal in more of that moisture. Now I'm going to take that plastic cap that I put holes in and I'm going to put it on my head. And then I want to make sure all my hair is tucked in there so everything gets steamed. Now I'm going to take that warm bath cloth, I'm going to squeeze it out, and then I'm going to sit it on top of my uh, plastic cap. And I didn't tell you guys, but you will need two plastic caps because I'm going to put this one on top of that to make sure that the bath cloth, bath cloth stays in and the heat stays in and steam stays in also and then I'm going to top it off with a towel it's like one of those little towel caps that you can buy from Marshalls or Walmart or somewhere and this is just going to help generate more steam and more uh, heat in your hair Once your hair is covered, you can let it sit from 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, you guys, after your time is up, you can style your hair as desired. And your hair should be a little bit more manageable and shinier. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next video.